Hello there, YouTube. My name is Necrostevo, and... Oh, hold on just a moment. I have something wrong with my mic. Is it better? Ah, there we go. I'm Necrostevo. This is what I normally sound like when I'm not having microphone problems. And I will be the coach taking over for Cooper for the Utah Jasmine in Season 7 of the GBA. Um, if you need more information about why Cooper had to baton pass the team over, he posted a video on his channel, so I'll be linking that. And if you'd like to know background information about me that I don't cover in this video, Bill Standish actually posted a coach interview. He was nice enough to do one for me um, for the GBA channel. So that will be linked in the description too. Uh, things I don't talk about in that video, um, I guess just a little bit about me. Uh, I've done everything from wait tables to be an attorney. Right now I manage a retail store. Uh, I've always bred my Pokemon and so that's one of the reasons I it's fun for me to take over for Cooper because he was the only breeder in the GBA. And so now I get to have that uh, baton passed over. The um, And I do have a little bit of background with Cooper because he and I went to the same university and um, we've battled in person before. He actually attended some of my panels when I was uh, hosting and working for some uh, university conventions and such when I just wanted to do panels about Pokemon or talking about breeding and that type of thing. Very, very fun times. Um, so it was just nice that I had some previous experience working with him because he's a cool guy and um, it's really nice that he is trusting me with this. I, for me, it's a big honor. If I haven't said that before, this is a huge honor for me to be in the GBA. Um, I previously have played in the Pokemon Premier League uh, and I also have played in the Indigo League of Legends and a little bit of the Alpha Battle League. So um, I do have league experience, which is fun. Uh, I also have VGC experience. Uh, I still always breed all my Pokemon for all those. And for a lot of people, they always go, well, why do you breed Pokemon? For me, breeding is really rewarding. Uh, it's fun for me to use the tools that were given to the game to make success, essentially. Uh, it is really nice now, though, that I can hyper-train Pokemon because now all those legendaries that I had before with unoptimized un IVs, now I can get those up to speed, almost literally sometimes. But um, that being said, I don't care if other people use ginning tools. That's on you. For me, the more people playing Pokemon, the more fun I'm going to have. So the more the merrier, I suppose, to each their own, as long as you aren't being ridiculous with it. Um, kind of stay in your own lane there is how I tend to approach that because I don't care if other people gen. That's just how I choose to play the game and how I, used, I choose to structure my own personal game experience with Pokemon. Now, that being said, um, with breeding for leagues, it's actually pretty fun to do team prep because um, I put a lot of work into my prep because I only want to have to breed a Pokemon once and I normally only have time to breed a Pokemon once working full time and then doing my pro bono work on top of that and then also just managing the household and get a little bit busy. So uh, my time is very precious to me and since I like to put some time in on Pokemon, I like to make sure that it's quality time. Uh, if you have any questions that I don't cover here, feel free to ask them in the description. If they're appropriate, I'll get to them when I get to them. If they're inappropriate, I'll still get to them just with probably more sarcastic responses. Um, hmm. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you for taking a time out of your day to watch it. And for those of you who took a little bit of your time to send me well wishes or on Discord, which feel free to follow me on Twitter or Discord, or I have a Facebook group that I repost my things into, all that's in the description if you are so inclined to follow it. If you don't, that won't hurt my feelings. I'm basically a dark void when it comes to feelings anyways, hence the Necros Devo. Um, but yeah, it really darkens my day when people take the time to, to, to send me awesome well wishes. So I don't like the light. That's why I prefer that my day be darkened. So thank you guys so much for your time. And I look forward to posting my first battle against Gym Leader Geo and the Giantes uh, in a little while. Um, I don't know. I haven't battled him yet, of course, but I'm not actually up to speed on wh <laughs> what day to post it on. So when I actually do battle it, 
then we'll have that happen. I don't even think Cooper, I think Cooper may have just had his final battle. So we'll have that handoff and then I'll have the next battle, which is going to be week five against Gym Leader Geo. So thank you guys again and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye now.